uh, aka the Volga Volva, double V's. My name is Julia, aka the Velvet Vulture, also with the double V's. Swooping down, to drop mad beats, <laughs> as I always would say. My name's Tim. Uh, I met these guys a long time ago, but we didn't really get together until like two years ago when they needed a DJ for Hem Fest. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, the Freedom Rally we uh, played for the past I go by uh, Cassio Brass or Slim Tim, whichever works. I went to UMass. I uh, was really involved with uh, weed legalization, with uh, working politically on that sort of stuff. Graduated, moved out here, got involved with my regular radio, um, doing stuff with them, and uh, and I work with kids. <laughs> now they don't know about this, so this is on the DL. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, I started off doing the instrumentals and doing some of the. You know, rhyming and whatnot, and uh, you know, always with the flair and the fashion. Currently working at the uh, North County Goodwill, the uh, Oasis of Savings <laughs> and Flyness. You know what's up. Yep, Way this before. came from that, not right. with the bedazzled uh, inverted crosses, but uh, I added those later. Yep, yep. That was, uh, that was right. a little craft project. Yeah, a couple air horns. <laughs> dip, 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 dip. Yeah. Yeah. Working in an automotive warehouse right now, and I just really don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> Out. <laughs> also in the CRC, also uh, trying to spit some more positive, you know, feminist forward kind of feeling in the beats, and uh, that's what's up. It's all love, man. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet depths of University of Massachusetts Amherst, sweaty basements all across Amherst, Northampton, Hadley. We met through the UMass Cannabis Reform Coalition. Shout out to the CRC, uh, big activists uh, mm -hmm. back back in our day. Um, and uh, we met through that, and uh, also uh, had a lot of friends who were into rap, that were into performing. Hip -hop, performing and and uh, we're writing writing songs, and we're like, hey, we can we can do that too, actually, you know. <laughs> so we started doing it, and then we really liked it. Just like with real solo sex, when you first get your hands on yes. it, you don't want to stop. So don't want to um, let go. And Julia was like, Julia showed up, and was like, hey, I like rapping, and I'm gonna make Think, beats. Yeah, you know. So I started making beats on my little uh, DJ Toshiba laptop, the first. Yep. And got a cracked version of uh, Adobe Audition, started stitching some beats together, samples, and like, hey, we can do this all on our own. Solo sex, don't need no help from nobody else. So for a while we uh, we were in touch, also big influence. It was a very powerful female DJ in the area, Pioneer Valley, DJ Mega. Yeah, DJ Mega was yep. like our mentor and, mm -hmm. uh, and brought us up. She was... Uh, pretty much the only female DJ in the area that was playing yes. out and she was like one of the only uh, dubstep DJs at that time that was playing dubstep and raga and jungle yep. and Breaking. she had her own radio show and she kind of took us under her right. her wing and, and was like hey you guys are good like she heard us you know fucking around rapping at Extravaganza which is our big uh, CRC, CRC uh, festival, festival our holiday and um, she saw us and was like hey you guys are good come come be on my show come by uh, come you know, rap with me, and then that's what started it off, and uh, and we started writing our own songs, our own beats, and uh, we grabbed our buddy yeah. Tim Burns to help us out with that, and uh, and got some uh, some dancers, and uh, just kind of added to the sideshow. I mean, we both love to perform, uh, yes, more than anything. Being so. on stage, the whole you know kit and caboodle, you know, much like the P Funk shows yeah. or anything that's got like a sideshow element, you never know what's going to happen, audience involvement, you know, those are the type of shows we like to go to, so, you know, of course, that's what we want to bring, bring to the sound. Yeah. So the process of songwriting and writing songs, getting them together, is usually what occurs is we have either Heather and I 
would come up with a, a hilarious I idea sometimes, just be a, enough yeah. of a couple ideas yeah. together. I think also, I mean, it's usually if, if, you know, if I had a hook for a song, like I got a chorus, then we can write around it. Like Women's Prison, she came up with this unbelievable, like, you know, the chorus just came out of nowhere. She's always writing, like, I'm always so in awe of uh, Heather's prowess when it comes to the, like, the written word. It's unbelievable. So, like, it's always, it's never, it's never hard. It's never, ever been a struggle. It just comes right out, you know? And then we'll stitch that together and, like, you know, having a couple raps. Hey, I wrote this rap during women's studies. Ha, huh? let's throw this on that. You know what I'm saying? And right on. Let's, you know, take you know, take that a little bit That might be the name. If, if we do a full album, it should be called Women's Studies. Absolutely. You heard it first. Right here. As our next EP, Women's Studies. See, that's what it is. It's like an inside joke or some you know, yes. silly thing. So either I'll come up with a verse, you know, and then she'll find patch something, it. patch it together. It's yeah, like a, it's like a quilt, you know, you stitch it together. It's the same thing with our beats, instrumentals and stuff, the same way, just stitching things together, you know? So when, a lovely solo sex snuggie is one. Yeah. <laughs> all of us, like, fulfill these different roles within the group. Yes. We're all on the same page with all of it because, you know, Julia's like the little detail. She's, like, able to go in and, and, and see, you know, take these little bits and pieces from all these different influences. I mean, if you hear our song Drugs has, you know, a sample from Intervention, it has a sample from Nickelodeon uh, Guts, it ha you know, you have to, you listen to that and that tells a story in and of itself. And then, you know, our lyrics just come organically based on some sort of theme, you know, women's prison and right. the place we live. So we, we came up with all these different, you know, how many, how many silly things can we say about it? Or, or it's like a real, you know, like, I, I don't know, the precedent is a great example of, of a more, you know, serious, even though it's a playful song, it's, right. it's more of like a, you know, talking about just defending ourselves as, as females and as yes. performers and shit, and, and literally getting, you know, um, scoffed at going into a show, and then yep. like, mobbed on the way out, and that feeling of like, yeah, yep. we're, re we're representing for other ladies, and trying to give permission for other ladies right. to do that and wanting to get that across. And realizing, realizing there was really nobody else around saying, I set the precedent, no one before me. I set the precedent, no one before me. I'm representing for the ladies of 413. You know what I'm saying? And like every time we'd play that, I'd be like, yeah, 413, you know? Like, and then there'll be times too afterwards, the beats, I'm like, man, it'd be great if we had a little like uh, full power, you know, this yep, one time yep. before we started, the first time we had Slim Tim with us, and it was like, man, if we had we had this one part in a song, and I thought, man, we just had this like, you know, an accent of like, you know, somebody yelling full power, and we found yep. it, and then he was able yeah, to out of nowhere stitch it in. Stitch it in yeah. So now, whenever that part of the line's coming up, I know that he's like, he's ready for it. Yeah. You know, and having the having the live DJ because of where we came from, because of starting off in clubs, doing like, uh, you know. Festivals, raids and all weird, those kind of yeah, things. Weird. Having the DJ is like uh, what I wish I could have had. You know, it's the other side of it that I really always wanted. And now it's like, yeah, it's here, it's here. <laughs> LinkedIn, part of the fact. We worked on a EP called Party Music. Um, this up on our Reverb Nation and um, our Facebook um, for free, but right now we are trying to uh, get Jules out a little bit closer, and we just wrote a new song called uh, Women's Prison that you guys will hear tonight, and that's an homage to uh, when we lived together out in the Western House. Yes. Lots of Lots of fun times going down in women's prison, so we'll be, uh, we'll be playing it's a fun prison. Tonight. It's a prison you want to join. Yeah, yeah. You want to go for a while. conjugal prison. It's yeah. like, you know. <laughs> it's homage to the American prison industrial system. Yeah, no, it's no. not. <laughs> for this song, we need a lady, a lady from the audience to come up on stage with us. Okay. Cause you're more than you. This song right. is called Women's Prison. Don't go nowhere. Do you want to talk? I'll show you how it works. I'll show you the ropes.